Good morning, readers. I wanted to share with you some pictures I was looking through that a friend sent me. Well, here we have a pelican and an oriole. And I started thinking, wow, these two birds, they're the same and different. So I made a Venn diagram. That's these two circles here. On the outside, that's how they are different. The information is different here. And on the inside, that's how the two things are the same. So here are my thoughts. A pelican, that's this guy here. He eats fish by scooping them up with its beak. Look, that's a fish inside of there. He has a really big beak. Look at that. My, it's really big. He has a large body and he has white feathers. That's how he's different from this bird over here, the Oriole. Okay, let's take a look at the Oriole now, this little guy. He eats bugs, right? Because look, he has a, a small beak, a small body, and he has black and orange feathers. That's how he's different. That's why I put that information on the outside. And this is how they're the same. That's why it's in the middle. They both can fly and they both have a beak. Well, readers, you can also do this when you read a book. We don't just think about characters and life lessons when we read. We also compare and contrast books. We think about what is the same and what is different. So when we compare, we think about what is the same. And when we contrast, we think about what is different. Okay, let's take a look. Here are two books that you might know. Henry and Mudge and Iris and Walter. Now, we're gonna do this a little different. I know I did it using a Venn diagram. We're going to do these two books using a story element chart. So we have setting, which is where the story takes place, character, who was in the story, problem, what trouble did the main character have, and solution, how was the problem solved? So we're gonna use this chart to think about each of these books. First, we're going to think about them, and then we're going to talk about how they're the same and different, okay? So first, in Henry and Much, the characters, Henry and Much. The setting is outside. Problem, a cat was lost. The solution, the cat found its owner. Okay. Iris and Walter in the field trip. The characters, Iris and Walter. The setting, aquarium, the problem, Walter was lost, and the solution, Iris found Walter. Now that we have all of our story elements, let's think about how they are the same and how they are different. If you take a look up here, I use two colors. For same, I put it in orange, and for different, I put it in green. Okay, so same, I have Henry and Walter. Now you might be saying, hmm, those are two different names. Those aren't the same characters. But what we could say is these two books are the same because they have a boy as a character. Then we could say they are different because Henry and Mudge has Henry, and Iris and Walter has Walter. So do you see how we could talk about how it's the same and different with the characters? Another way they are the same is somebody or something is lost in the book. Another way they are the same, something or someone is found in the book. 
So those are three ways these books are the same. There is a boy main character, someone or something is lost, someone or something is found. Those are three ways that they are the same. Now, how is the book different? The book is different. Those are the things in green. In Henry and Mudge, the characters are Henry and Mudge, and in Iris and Walter, the characters are Iris and Walter. The setting is different in both books. In Henry and Mudge, the setting is outside, and in Iris and Walter, the setting is the aquarium. The problem is a little different in both books. In Henry and Mudge, a cat is lost, and in Iris and Walter, Walter is lost. The solution is a little different because in Henry and Mudge, the cat found its owner, and in Iris and Walter, Iris found Walter. Readers, do you see how in both of these books, there are some things that are the same and some things that are different? And do you see how we use the story elements chart to help us see what is the same and what is different in both of them? Well, today you are going to get the chance to do that using these two books. Some of you might have seen this book, Giraffes Can't Dance, in your classroom. Well, it's a great story about a giraffe who really doesn't know how to dance, but wants to know how to dance. And this book, Flight School, is about a penguin who wants to be able to fly. Now, some of you may know that penguins can fly, but they can't really fly as high as a bird. So for your activity today, you're going to listen to both of these books and use the story elements chart to write how both books are the same and different, just like how we did with Henry and Mudge and Iris and Walter. So readers, when you go off, remember you are going to be comparing, showing how these two books are the same, and contrasting, showing how these two books are different using the story elements chart. And readers, just like in any book or any books that you do, you can always be doing this. Okay, readers, off you go.